Hello friends, in this video I'm going to help you to understand how to create this kind of flip card effect in Power BI. I will guide you uh, step by step through the process of understanding the HTML and CSS code behind the flip card to integrate it seamlessly into Power BI Visual. But by end of the video, you'll have fully functional flip card showcasing dynamic data directly from Power BI. I am creating this video mainly for citizen developers who might not be having any idea about technology but they are supposed to use it. So we need to uh, primarily understand the CSS part because the majority of the visual is controlled by the CSS code. So in the CSS code we need to understand the classes. So what is a CSS class? It's like a set of instructions of how the something should uh, look or behave and uh, accordingly you are writing those instructions in different uh, sections of classes and they will control your visual. First let us understand the complete structure of this visual. One, the basic container in which this card is showing that uh, flipping behavior. Two, there are two sides of the card which is inside card that is called inner card. It has a back side and front side and we are hovering the mouse over it and then it is behaving it. So these are the few classes we are going to create. To create these classes instead of using a normal text editor if I use the Visual Studio code it will be easy for me. So let me open the Visual Studio code. There I have already created one file testing html.html since it is an html uh, code finally and we are going to use in a html visual so let me begin the code from here the full form of css is cascading style sheets so we need to use the style tag and inside that we need to create our the very basic container so this is like a frame of the card it decides the size of the card and its background and how it should behave in 3D. It's like setting up the stage for your performance. So dot card and then I need to decide the background color. I don't want any background color it should be transparent and then I want width of 300 pixel you are deciding the size of the card. Height also like say 200 pixel then I want to have that border so border will be one pixel and it should be solid style and there should be a color now the important thing perspective this will decide the 3d effectiveness and how the 3d would should look like so 300 pixel so now we are creating the stage for the card and then we will add other elements. The next class what we are creating is the mechanism that makes the card flip. It's like that uh, the hinge of a door that lets it rotate smoothly. So let us do that. So that is card inner and again we need to add the uh, details. The position is relative because it's a linkage now and the width is 100% it is taking the same width of above what we decided and then height is 100% then I want whatever text I'm going to write inside the text align should be center then the transition transform 0 0.8 seconds so that the flipping time basically we are deciding here and this transform style is preserved 3d so this is basically creating the mechanism so that the card will flip now we need to add the hover interaction it is like a magic trick when you hover your mouse over it the card will flip and uh, shows the backside of the 
card and you will see other details as well it is a card over and it should be on the card inner and it's a transformation transform and then it should be in the y direction rotation and the rotation is 180 degrees hover effect when you hover the mouse over it the rotation happens in 180 degrees and the time is it's uh, 0.8 seconds now we need to decide what we want to see in the beginning just when card appears and when you hover the mouse what you want to see when the card flips so that is where you are going to define the class for card uh, front and card back initially we need to define the common properties of these two elements in one place that is card front comma card back and then the position will be relative and the width we are taking 100% from the above whatever we decided in the container same thing with uh, the height 100% And then when the card is flipping, the backside information should be hidden. Otherwise, it will show both the containers values from the front side also, from the back side also. We don't want that. So that is where we are using back face visibility hidden. But this will only work with the latest uh, browsers. If you want, it should work with the older version of the browsers as well because when you are publishing this report inside Power BI service, we have one WebKit visibility is also hidden. Finally, we need to add the individual attributes or properties of each front side and back side. So, dot card front. There will be background color, but you can add any other color. And then the text color is black. So that is for the front. And for back side, card back. Background color, I want to have some different color. So you can use uh, the names as well. There is a color dodge dodge blue uh, text color is white and finally here since the card the back side is actually really flipping and then coming so we need to use a transform that is uh, rotate y 180 degrees So now the CSS part is over and now we need to add the HTML part to use this uh, CSS inside that and we can test it how to flip the card and then we will get into the DAX how to add the DAX uh, measures inside this uh, text and how to get the flip card effect in Power BI. Finally I need to wrap this CSS code inside the HTML so I need to create the div elements there are three different layers the innermost container on top of that flip card and inside that you have uh, two sides so i need to create two devel three developments rather div div and div and here it will be two separate developments one is front side another is back side first div class is card second div class is card inner card front and this one card back some additional details header that will be same way here as well one header some header and I want uh, header to second level subheading kind of that is 
sum sub header and after that I want a paragraph some details and now we need to test it click on go live and the card is ready when I flip over the card the card is showing me the details otherwise it is closing now how to implement this in power bi will be the next step now let me copy this entire code and open power bi desktop and create a new measure inside that measure you can say card flip and then within double quotes just paste this code whatever we copy and now uh, let me commit this uh, measure and now I need to download or rather activate the HTML content visual so this is the HTML content visual which is available in the market place so for that go to three dots ellipsis get more visuals and then you can search for HTML which will give you the HTML content visual and just add it to the power bi desktop and then add this now inside you have an option values where you need to add the data this measure so values card flip and now this is ready when I hover the mouse you can see I'm able to see that uh, front and as well as once I hovered it it is flipping and showing the other one and how to implement the measure is important how to add the values which dynamically should show the data so that is where the entire magic ends to add the dynamic data I need to edit the measure so let me select the measure so here the common header so I need to just give an indicator what user is supposed to do over the mouse and second one where uh, in the back side the revenue info because I want to show the revenue info and here I want to uh, show the total revenue and here I want to show the last year revenue rather current year revenue but this is not going to give you the dynamic value it is just giving you the text so we are here we need to use that concatenation so double quotes and then double quotes I'm just uh, segregating them and then ampersand and then ampersand between the ampersand I need to bring the total revenue since I'm adding total revenue along with the text if I just add the total revenue as it is it will not be a proper formatted number it will be a plain number like a general format which will not give you the right information so for the reason I'm just using format function close the bracket and then just copy this I just copy this do the same thing here and then it will be last year revenue and now it will show the values accordingly I need to just commit it so that it will adopt it into the card visual now you can see hover the mouse when I hover the mouse revenue info current year revenue is this last year revenue is this so let me add a slicer so inside that I need to add year convert into a tile and now when I select 18 you can see last year current year revenue is 190 million whereas last year is 192 million and accordingly the data changes 